Well, thank you very much, Miss Zimbabwe. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Miss Universe stage, Maxine Livingston, Miss Jamaica. seem to be a favorite, uh, Maxine. Uh, maybe you'd like to uh, tell me a little bit about your outfit. Well, this is one original article outfit this year. Have we got a translator around here somewhere? Uh, someone that can speak Jamaican, anybody? Oh, yes, you, sir, please, come on up. Come on in here. Thank you very much for helping us out. Maxine, what would you do if you became Miss Universe? I want to know what the first thing I'd do if I win this thing. <laughs> Let me tell you the first thing, right? This, this contest, I want idiot business this year. <laughs> they must surround me with a bunch of marga marga white gal <laughs> who not eat nothing but rotted salad. <laughs> I can't find no oxtail and no rice and peas, no place. I'm tired of this idiot blood clot white boy asked me. This idiot blood clot white boy asked me my business, you know, you must tell him for quit. Bomber clot. Sounds like a very spirited answer, and I, I can't wait to hear the translation. <laughs> she says in her first 10 days of taking office, as Miss Universe, I would immediately impose a total moratorium on nuclear weapons. <laughs> I would demand the G8 enact bold fiscal policies to forgive third world debt so that the young people could have a future. And finally, <laughs> I would mediate a global summit to do an everlasting truce between the two warring factions, between Beanie Man and Bounty Killer. Thank you. say that I, I'm almost brought to tears. How are you telling my me say them things? Me never say them things. How are you telling me say them things? This man a fuck, boy. Well, thank you, Miss Jamaica. What's a uh, body boy? <laughs> Means you're a man among men. Yeah. Let me say in your native tongue, uh, I'm a body boy and dirty bumbaclot. <laughs> Thank you, Maxie Livingston, Miss Jamaica!